Welcome to this Commander deck tech featuring Olivia, Mobilized for War, Reanimator. Olivia, Mobilized for War, is a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three vampire with flying. Her only other ability is, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature, and it gains haste and a thirst for blood. She provides a repeatable discard outlet and haste enabler for no additional mana cost, making her a natural leader in a reanimator deck which wants to discard huge creatures, resurrect them, and strike right away with haste. Olivia works particularly well with creatures that tap to reanimate, like Doomed and Apprentice Necromancers. With Olivia on the field and an enormous demon in hand, I can play the Necromancer, grant it haste by discarding the demon, and then immediately resurrect the demon by tapping Necromancer. Other creatures that work this way at slightly worse costs are Felden of the Third Path and Whisper. I've added a few additional reanimation spells since I can't rely solely on the Olivia and Necromancer synergy. Dread Return can be used twice with a bit of sacrifice fodder. Reanimate itself is only one mana, and Victimize returns two creatures, unfortunately tapped. Unearth and Cavalier of Night can only grab small creatures, but grabbing a Necromancer converts them into reanimating a larger creature. Sneak Attack obviously isn't a reanimation spell, but it is an alternative way to cheat in big boys. Now for the fun part, I'll discuss my reanimation targets. This portion of the deck is the most customizable. Choose whatever huge demons, Eldrazi, and dragons you prefer as reanimation targets that can end the game quickly. Just be sure they are large enough to defeat opponents with hasty combat damage in addition to their other effects. Razaketh may not end the game by himself, but can repeatedly search the library for cards that will. Villis, Broker of Blood, draws a disgusting number of cards and can wipe the board with enough mana. Void Winnower will often lock opponents out of the game with its bizarre casting restriction. It That Betrays is the single most powerful creature when the deck grants it haste, annihilating and stealing two permanents every time it attacks. The deck contains plenty of ways to discard cards outside of Olivia herself. I've included many cheap red rummaging, looting, and wheel effects to dig through the deck quickly and fill up the graveyard. Original Wheel of Fortune is unmatched in its efficiency, drawing 7 for just 3 mana. Ox of Agonos only draws 3, but is recursive and attached to a decent sized creature. Anya's Ravager is similar to the Ox, drawing 3 every time it attacks, which will keep our graveyard and hand stocked as long as an opponent is exposed to the vampire. The cheap enchantment Tortured Existence is extremely powerful in this deck turning our graveyard into a second hand for creatures. As long as I'm discarding all of these cards, it would be foolish not to take advantage of it in other ways. Archfiend of Ifnir transforms wheels into one-sided board wipes, which can end the game against creature-based decks. Surly Badger Sword converts discard into treasure tokens and removal, while Bone Miser builds up an army of tokens and draws cards. Secretly, the strongest card in the deck is Squee Goblin Nabob, who I can happily toss over and over and over again to the various discard effects in the deck. Squee turns simple card filtering, like Cathartic Reunion and Tormenting Voice, into tasty card advantage. The deck's primary win condition is swinging sideways with huge hasty demons in Eldrazi but it does contain one interesting combo as a backup for long games. Like many effects that place plus one plus one counters, Olivia combos with persist creatures. It requires a free sacrifice outlet like Carrion Feeder, a creature with Grim Haru Spex's card draw effect, and Murderous Redcap. Sacrifice Redcap, drawing a card and returning it to the battlefield thanks to persist. When it re-enters, discard a card to put a plus one plus one counter on it with Olivia's ability and cancel out the minus one minus one counter, while Redcap pings an opponent. Then loop this over and over until the opponent has all their blood sucked out by the vampire goblin. 
The rest of the deck is filled with removal and board wipes to interact with my opponents and a few mana rocks to speed the deck up. Meteor Golem is another reanimation target and is one of the only ways in these colors to kill enchantments. Rankle, Master of Pranks, is a very versatile creature, removing creatures with sacrifices and rummaging constantly. My favorite removal spell in the deck, maybe even my favorite card in the deck, is New Blood, which is only usable because Olivia turns every creature into a vampire. Nobody expects a 4-mana mind control effect from the black-red deck. The deck list is in the description as usual. I recommend checking it out to see other cool cards I did not mention in the video. My next video will be discussing a fun format I've created called the Boros Combat Tower. Thanks for watching this Olivia deck tech. Enjoy blood sucking and zombifying.